the Martial Art Forms. My name is John Burke, and I'm here with Lee Yifei and Cindy Ming. Cindy's been on the program before, and Lee is one of the anchors of the New York Chinese language television station's news broadcast. And um, when we talk about wushu, uh, some of the viewers may not really know what wushu is. Maybe uh, Lee could tell us a little bit about it. Okay, uh, wushu. In Actually, in Chinese, the right pronunciation is wushu, and it exactly translated as martial arts. So I think martial arts include almost everything, like I think karate, kung fu, and taekwondo, and everything should be included in, into martial arts. And it, it, it might include fighting techniques, self-defense, and like w what the wushu we are doing, tai chi, like slow motion wushu. They're all wushu, and you can do it like you can do wushu either for your own health or for old people. It can, you can, it can be done for your own internal circulation or even for relaxation. I know a lot of pressure in New York. You have to relax a little bit, you know. So I think people have to understand wushu a lot, a lot much more because many of them should, people always divide it into different schools, which I don't think is right because wushu as a, as what they say, the the, the real uh, body of Chinese art, you know, it's an art, but it's also a technique. It's also something that you have to you you have to learn to 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 understand. I, I started doing wushu when I, when I was 10, and uh, up to now I'm 24 years old, so I'm like 14 years doing it. But I started in Beijing Physical Institute, where I studied for exactly 10 years, and then I came to this country two years ago. And uh, there, according to Americans, the kind of training we had is like torture, you know. They would really think it's torture, but for us, if you want to compete in competitions, you really have to do like that. So it's a lot of it's a lot of hardship, but I I, I now I'm uh, kind of uh, looking back. I really think it's worth it. We we saw you do some uh, demonstration for us. What kind of uh, section of a form was that? Tell us a little bit about it, and then we'll talk to Yifei about hers. Okay, that was called Fan Su Chen. Probably I mispronounced it, but that's pretty correct. <laughs> okay, um, but it's rapid fist boxing and the idea is that you're punching very very fast it's good for somebody um, short and compact like me and um, it also has offensive and defensive moves blocking and a lot of offensive very fast punching a lot of people say well wushu is very beautiful but what's the purpose and they can't see a lot of the application in something maybe as athletic as long fist where there's a lot of acrobatics they just a lot of people think that wushu is just acrobatics and just some dancing. They don't understand the martial, the fighting heritage in it. And yet there are quite a few forms. Fansa, as I just did, um, and Ife's sword, and also the Tai Chi. But it takes a lot of years of really intense study to really understand the Shu. The form that you uh, did, or the section of the form that you did, was actually what? Okay, it's a uh, sword. You can sword. I give it a name, Red Cloud Fury, because I dress up in red, and my music is like, uh, no, I mean the lightning is red, and also uh, 
the speed and the, the force you have, it's, you have to give out the, the, the force and the, the energy. So I call it Red Cloud Fury. And it's actually a long, long form sword. And uh, as, as Jacindy had uh, said, many people got confused in what, what is wushu and wushu is dancing and, or ballet or something like that, which I don't agree because like for my sword, many people I think might say, wow, it's, it's beautiful dancing. But actually every movement has its defensive and offensive uh, uh, implication in it. Like, like from here, I killed someone figure out and then I go back I clean out the blood I take it out and then I go again that's defensive and offensive only you do it in the form when you practice you do it in the form but like like if a lot of people would ask me wow if you face me I'm a strong built man what are you going to do I would say I'll run I'll run first because you have to avoid encounter, right? You have to avoid anything. If you can't avoid it, I'm sure I'm going to be much better than the girls who haven't practiced wushu, the wushu that I did, because I, I do not only do sword, I also do like shouting, shouting boxing. You have to do tai chi and you do self-defense, all combined. You're going to learn the techniques and you to, to be the, to have the consciousness of defending and offending, you know? So it's actually a kind of combined everything together.